This video is named Low Carb Eating is a Lifestyle, Not a Diet. And this is something we got to drum into your head until you get it. It's not about being on a diet. It's about making a lifestyle choice. And in this video, I'm going to go over all the many facets that come into play. And here, if you stop the video, you could go and look at this uh, diagram, the Canogenic Low-Carb Diet Food Pyramid. And they have to use the word diet because it's what people consider for weight loss. Why low-carb is not a fad diet, it's a lifestyle. You undoubtedly heard of the low-carb diet or even tried it at one point in your life. Maybe you had some degrees of success but found any fad diet too hard to maintain. Typically, this is what happens with most people who choose fad diets to lose weight. Well, newsflash, low-carb is not a fad, but rather a lifestyle change. While it can be adopted for a short period of time, you are merely scratching the surface of what can be achieved. You know, you've been struggling forever with this problem of obesity, being overweight. One day you woke up and you were fat. You got to grow up. You got to change your way of living. And if this program is so easy and to follow and to maintain and to keep up and to finally win the struggle and stop that damn hunger that comes on us from the insulin shocks. Not sure if you can manage the low-carb lifestyle. It can be pretty simple but that's not to say it's effortless. However, you're in luck. Following the low-carb lifestyle for the rest of your life can be achievable, at least by following our tips outlined in the next slides. Look at this. This is the main culprit. White flour for baking. A half a cup of white flour has 45.8 grams of carbs, while one half cup of almond flour has six grams of carbs. You tell me, which is the better deal? And also, you're going to pick up that nice taste from the almond flour. Low carb has been in use for more than 100 years. Fed diets come and go, but low carb has been in use for many years, and before saturated fat was demonized, erroneously as it turns out, by the food industry as it turns out, paying off researchers to say that it was not sugar, but fat that made you fat. Low carb was the way to lose weight. Dr. Atkins published his infamous low carb diet book in 1972, long before the low fat guidelines came out. You know, uh, Dr. Atkins was ridiculed by the medical establishment when he came out with this book in 1972. It was an uphill battle. All they said was he was wrong, that fat was going to make you sick, was going to cause you heart trouble, was going to cause cholesterol to go up, on and on and on. The poor man died, and only to see that he was proven right over time. Studies support low-carb diet many times over. There have been more than 20 randomized controlled trials published since 2002 in respected peer-reviewed journals that show low-carb diets to be effective for weight loss and completely safe without a single adverse effect. This cannot be said about many of the fad diets, especially the low-fat diets. You know, America's been on a low-fat diet for over 50 years and has only gotten worse and more obesity. Additionally, many studies show low-carb eating to have better results in both weight loss and in support of heart disease prevention than the typical low-fat plan. Low-carb leads to more weight loss, especially visceral fat, and also helps to improve HDL cholesterol, insulin levels, blood sugar levels, and blood pressure. You know, I, I hear a, a lot of you guys coming back and saying you have diabetes. Well, if you don't put sugar in your body, you're not going to have diabetes. You're not going to have to fight to prevent the sugar buildup in your system. It's just like you don't want to get lung cancer? Stop smoking. Nobody put that cigarette in your mouth. 
No one's going to put the sugar in your mouth and into your body. It's up to you. Look at this diagram here, potato chips. You don't have to sacrifice your crunchy snack cravings. Eight ounces of potato chips has 120 grams of carbs. You know what has 120 grams of carbs? A can of soda. And look at how many, eight ounces only. Why you can have eight ounces of almonds and have only 14 grams of carbs. Yeah, it's a big saving and a lot tastier. Yes, no more hunger. Most fed diets are notorious for making you feel starved and desperate as you white-knuckle your way through them to lose a few pounds. Crashes in energy levels and mood fluctuations are also common with fad diets. With a low-carb plan, you feel satisfied and eat to satisfaction. That means you're not counting calories. Most people go low-carb, find their appetite is naturally satisfied because they have eliminated those bad carbs that cause erratic blood sugar spikes that cause out-of-control cravings and overeating. And you know, all of us have had those moments that we're going to die if we don't have something to eat. And it's that blood sugar spiking. You know, you eat something uh, high carbohydrates, your blood sugar goes up, and a half hour later, it shoots down and it causes that hunger. It's like that Chinese restaurant story. You go to a Chinese, and an hour later, you're starving. There is no white knuckling involved as you get uh, to eat an abundance of real whole food, including steaks, chicken, bacon, eggs, butter, non-starchy vegetables, nuts, and seafood. Don't that sound good? This makes low carb sustainable for the long term, and since you reach your weight loss goals, you can begin to reintroduce new carb foods as you continue to monitor your weight. This makes low carb a true lifestyle plan and not some useless temporary solution. Look at the difference here in these french fries. One cup of french fries has 56 grams of carbs. Now, remember, that's one cup, not much. And you can have a one cup of baked carrot sticks has only 8.6 grams of carbs. And you can see that you can have a nice fat dip and enjoy it and, and get the satisfaction, the crunchiness, and that taste all together for a lot less damage to your body and your diet. Mistakes are okay. On a fad diet, a lapse of one day can ruin your overall goal placing undue pressure on you. However, when adopting a lifestyle of low carb, it is understood that lapses happen from time to time, and that is okay. It will not wreck your metabolism or cause you to gain weight lost back in the space of 24 hours. In fact, you will likely find that the cravings for carbs decrease significantly over time, making it less likely from the get-go that you will have major lapses. Don't think of it as a stringent diet, but forging a new relationship with the right foods. You know, I keep telling you guys, it's about having a grown-up diet. I, I was talking to someone the other day about the, the weight loss struggles, and I said, you know, you have to give up the bread, the pizza, those, those high-carb foods. And she said to me, oh, Bill, I can't do that. I, I, I love my bread. I love my this. And I said, well, you know, if you want to be a grown-up and you want to get control of your body and you don't want to be a heavyweight old lady when the time comes to be an old lady, you better start now getting control of over it. And it's not hard. Look at this. A 12-ounce soda has 39 grams of sugar carbs. While you can have a 12-ounce flavored seltzer has zero sugar carbs. And we recommend that the decaf iced tea mix that you make at home for very little money, make it up, and uh, have zero carbs. You learn to eat healthy. Another reason that low carb is a lifestyle and not a fad is that you learn to eat healthy and to make healthy choices in carbs, protein, and fats. And this ability to choose makes a lifestyle over the often very rigid rules of the typical fad diet. This means you have to know the difference between various carbs 
and practice planning healthy meals instead of just following some one-for-all diet menu that offers little variation. You know, what I keep telling you guys, you can have a steak, you can have chicken, you can have shrimp, you can have seafood with a nice salad. You don't need pasta. You don't need bread. You don't need breading. Look at this. One cup of spaghetti has 40 grams of carbs. One cup. I mean, that's nothing. You know when we go to the Italian restaurant, we have three or four cups of spaghetti. You save 37.3 grams of carb with one cup of spiral cup zucchini has only 2.7 grams of carbs. You can eat out. Eating out on low carb is easy once you learn to make the right choices. This allows you to maintain a social life and enjoy dining out without compromising your weight loss. And nothing is more supportive of a lifestyle than that. You know, you don't have to go out and say, oh, I don't eat that, or I can eat this, or I can eat that. I'll show you what you can eat. You can have a nice carb salad with ham, eggs, bacon, uh, ha uh, cheese, all in one with a blue cheese dressing. And you're not going to go hungry when you go to a restaurant. Ask for a carb salad. When you go on fat diets, you typically see weight loss, some weight loss. And then when you get off the diet and go back to eating as usual, the weight returns and then some, with a vengeance. With low carb, there is no end or getting off the diet. It's intended for life. So you can lose weight and keep it off by continuing to make healthy choices and monitoring their effects on your weight. This also means that you will be able to eat more carbs down the road but you will continue to choose wisely based on your individual weight loss maintenance. Now, you know, we all see these people that never gain weight. Or we know them for years and years and years, and they eat everything, we think, and they never gain weight. Well, the reality is those people have eating habits, unbeknownst to us, that avoid a lot of the carbs. Like some people would say, I don't eat sweets. Or other ones would say, I don't eat chocolate. Or others would say, I don't eat donuts. Well, we do. Or we did. In conclusion, as you can see, low carb is far from a fad diet. For many people, carbs are the main culprit in their obesity. And when they reduce them to healthy sources, they find that they have more energy, lose weight, and are able to keep it off a lifestyle that is successful, motivational, and sustainable. And when you're able to get into your pair of pants that you couldn't fit into for years, and you had them in the back of the closet, and all of a sudden you can go into them, you know, the expression is, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels. Finally, when your weight loss struggles. Get your copy of The Canogenic Diet, only $19.95, with immediate download. Click in the description box below this video, or just go to SaturdayMorningDiet.com forward slash Canogenic Diet ebook. Get your copy for immediate download, and you will be surprised how you can change your life with all the good information that we put together in this book. So, please... Pass the word, share this video, subscribe, and tell all your friends to get on this channel and also subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.